We're used to visiting places where you can hold their components in the palm of your hand. But today, we're here in Chesterfield at Direct Engineering to find out what machines they use to make components like this. So Ray, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and Direct Engineering? Yeah, well, basically we're an engineering company. We started in 1997 as uh, predominantly fabrication, machining, on a, on a smaller scale and uh, we've seen the need to uh, expand into a lot more machining uh, operations where customers were requiring services all around as well as the welding and fabrication side. So we, we ended up growing on the milling and turning side with uh, investing in CNC machines. So what sort of industries do you work in and what sort of materials are you doing? We're doing a, quite a diverse range of materials for a diverse range of industries from marine to power to uh, water authorities, uh, all plastics industries and that. Uh, so we, uh, we do have quite a diverse range of materials and everything we do machine and fabricate. So. Uh, it's, uh, it's just a, a part of the business we need to, to offer all services. Now, obviously there must be some challenges when it comes to working with plastics right up to stainless steels. So, how does the Dugard machine help in giving you the confidence that you can machine any material that really comes through the door? Yeah, very much so. The, yeah, each material has its own challenges and that's how it cuts and that. But we, we did get a, a very good uh, listing of materials what are suitable for our products and that from uh, Dugards. Dugards helped us out initially with a machine breakdown and got us up and running very quickly and uh, for that reason it, you know, it, it stuck with us and we, we, we stayed with Dugard. But material wise we, we do a range from plastics, aluminium, a lot of stainless steels, a lot of high carbon steel machine and we've had a lot of good productive advice from uh, Dugards on, on how to deal with the materials. Now, looking around some of the options you've got on these machines with your steady rest and your live tooling, yeah. has this helped with putting work into one machine that that maybe used to go onto two different machines? No, we, we, we've given us a lot more diversity on what, what jobs can go on what machines and uh, we can get finished products coming off of machines with the live tooling now where it went from one machine to probably a milling operation after. We've been able to turn material and products around a lot quicker by keeping them on that one machine. And obviously, as we can see behind you, you went from one to two and now you've got three. So well, it's four actually. Uh, yeah. And four behind us, sorry, yeah. yes, you are right, four. Yeah. So how has the guys at Dugard been in installing these machines? Because it's quite tight, but they're all in absolutely perfectly. Well. I say we tend to tend to look after the equipment. It's a compact uh, machine in cell all around, really. And uh, we we spoke to people like Colin and Eric at Dugard on what machines are, is the best fit for our company, and they've given some very constructive advice. So uh, things uh, pr progress through the machine shop very well in an organised manner. So uh, I, I appreciate all the uh, advice we have had over the years. Ray, can you talk us to the machines you've actually got from Dugard? No. Well, funnily enough, we started with the biggest one first, really, which is uh, we had a, a need for big billet work, which we got the PL45, which has got big capacity on there. And then uh, as we slowly phased out older machines, we, uh, we invested in the PL2500, the PL35, which is a bigger machine, and our most recent addition is the SL3000, which has got the bar feed on and the steady rest, which uh, it, it comes from most applications we'll, you know, we need in this machine shop. And I find it quite interesting that mostly people go from a smallish machine to a big machine, but you've done it the opposite it way is. around. I don't know. I don't know why that happened, but we must have had a big workload on every billet work at that time. But it's been a been a brilliant machine with all the live tooling, axle and radial tooling to keep it on the machine rather than having to transfer it to a milling machine. So it's, uh, it's been invaluable. And I, I just want to get a little bit part specific because 
yeah. you do quite a range of parts. Yeah. Not everything is just a tube with a hole in. No. So have these machines been able to handle everything you put through them, which we can see around us? I think more so today, yeah. Everything we, we've got, we've got, uh, you know, small bar fed components and that, which can, you know, do high volume down to your, your big PL45 machine. We can do a lot of big billet work on that uh, on that type of machine. So from one end of the scale to the other, we've uh, I think we've got a machine what fits the bill for that. And talking to one of your operators, the tolerances you guys are holding as well aren't very big. No, they're, they're very tight tolerances on some of the uh, some of the shaft work, especially especially with the concentricity what's required on them prior to other finishing operations such as chroming. It all needs to be uh, running very true into tight tolerances. So now, Ray, I'd like to thank you for your time today. But mm. I just want to, to ask you one last question. Yep. Um, obviously, you've got quite a few machines, and you've got quite a few different options on these machines. Yeah. Is that all come from the advice you were talking about from the guys at Dugard? They've given you the advice on the best options for your needs. It is really. I say from that initial. Uh, introduction to do guards helping us out of a hole when our old machine give up the ghost and packed up they've uh, they've always been there for after sales service giving us good advice on the best machine for the application and uh, just training as well for new operators coming on the machines it's people like rod at uh, do guard it will quite happily come out and give us some good good training and tell us the capabilities of the machine which has been invaluable for us